I've just pulled up at Lidl and I'm going inside to get a few bits for dinner. We're gonna have a kid's meal tonight. I'm basically just going to do a vegetarian breakfast, but I need some mushrooms, some avocados, a few other bits and pieces, some baked beans. Gary absolutely loves baked beans, so I need to get some baked beans. I'm also looking for a plant or a couple of plants just to pop into a pot to make it look nice, really, for the postman. I mean, <laughs> then I'm on my way to the swimming pool. I am now going swimming earlier on a Monday, so I like to get to the swimming pool for around quarter to nine-ish. I'm running a little bit late today, but I want to try and get my swim done before the aqua class. So I used to love going to aqua, honestly, it's just so great. They have 60s music and we all do a sing-along and it's wonderful and I'm always the youngest one there, which I'm gonna be honest, I actually really like. But when I go into the steam room afterwards, I don't really need the stress of that when I finish my aqua. So I try and go from in now before aqua. Right, let's go and see what I can find in Lidl for our kids dinner tonight. Honestly, it's such a glorious day today. And I've just spotted some plants. Wow, they are such a good price. I have a friend who loves cream hydrangeas. I will have to let her know. I'm thinking that a couple of these would look nice in the planter outside. one of those this color is really nice and i think i might be able to fit three in this pot so i'm gonna get another one let's just take a quick look yes great that's what i'm gonna get i've actually just spotted these i wonder what color they are 199 gosh that's such a good price no i'm not gonna get those Do you ever just forget why you're actually in a supermarket? Just need to focus on what I actually do need. And these are always such a great price. Oh my God, this is so nice. When my sister and I go to my best friend's house for breakfast, this is what we always have with natural yogurt and um, honey and fruit, and it's always so yummy. So definitely recommend that. Just baked beans we need now. Make sure they've got no sausages in them. I've done that before. No, they haven't. Have you scanned all your shopping? Please take your shopping and your receipt. Thank you for shopping at Lidl. See you again soon. All done in Lidl. I have managed to pick up things for tea. I've managed to pick up some plants for the uh, planter that we have at the front of our building. And that's about it really. I was quite restrained. I did pick up some chocolate that we didn't need. Definitely recommend that chocolate, by the way. Unfortunately, there was no house plants, but that's fine. I don't really need another house plant. If you know me by now, you will know I do not need any more house plants. <laughs> right, I'm off to swim in. Okay, so there's been a change of plan. I'm gonna be honest, quite poor selection of plants. What a shame. Yeah, even the olive trees don't look um, very healthy. Look at this poor one. Mm. I don't think I'm going to get a house plant today. I quite like these look. They're in the sale, so 
was 15, now 10. I would need to sort it out a little bit. But I need something that's like waterproof for the balcony because, you know, dried ones just get wrecked basically on there. Just flicking through now, just to see if I can find the best one of the lot. These make a really lovely gift. And they're lovely. These little ones are five pounds. And then these ones are six. Oh my goodness, six pounds. What a great gift. You know, even thinking ahead to Christmas. Great sustainable gift there. Oh, this makes me think of my mum. Oh, she always wanted a hedgehog house. I really like this. Recently just bought these for some plants. So these are really nice. I think they're £10 each. I really like that one. How much is that? That's £10. That's really natural. I, I really do like that one. And then these are nice as well. So that's £10. But this one is seven. Do you know what I'm thinking? How nice would a Christmas tree look in these? Okay, concentrate, share, concentrate. Please tell me you do this as well, where you just come in for things that you don't even need. Um, it's now 10 minutes later and I'm still deciding. I think I'm gonna get the seven pounds one. But will I get fed up with the green? Maybe I'll go for the natural one. I'm gonna go for the natural one. It's a bit more white company vibes, I think, isn't it? Let's go for that one. I've just found these new plants. I bought this one the other day for our living room and this one as well. So I don't want to buy the same. What's in there? That leaf, let me have a look. This is gorgeous, this one. So I've also got that one. That's in our living room. I think the pot's too big, to be honest. The pot is definitely too big for our bedroom, but that is lovely. I mean, how beautiful is that leaf? Oh my goodness. These are prayer plants and they all close up at night time. So um, they go to bed, basically. I did buy the lavender wreath. I often have lavender along my balcony this time of year. And the color is definitely this colorway. It does need zhuzhing up a little bit. Sometimes I'll find a wreath that I want to put on the balcony, but it doesn't look good from the inside looking out. This has got like solar lighting. I'm gonna see what that looks like. I'm not sure, I might take the solar lighting off. I bought something that I didn't need. I mean, we all go into B&M and buy things that we don't need. My brain started going off. Does yours do this as well? Where you start thinking, I think I might need a basket. Oh, I know, I'll go to the basket section and then look at them all and then debate them all. And then I decided on this one and purely because it's completely natural. So I'm not gonna get fed up with the color. It will just last forever. You can always put a plant in it. If you do put a plant inside, you need to just make sure that you've got a base at the bottom. So that's all I bought. So I think I spent 20 pounds. Yeah, basket, 10 pounds, wreath, 10 pounds. I will probably put the wreath up tomorrow. So tomorrow I'm going to do a cleaning day in the living room and the ki kitchen. I may vlog that, I may not, I'm not sure, but I'll pop the uh, wreath up then. So hopefully I will see what it looks like. I'm going to keep the receipt just in case. Oh, it's getting very warm in the car now. I, I'm off at home. I need another coffee, so I'll get that when I get back and unpack. Yeah, and then I'll see where the day takes me. I was just me. thinking, actually, what I might do before I go home, because I'm not going to the gym now, I think I'm just going to put the car through the car wash and then hoover the inside, get the car just a very quick clean. We're safe, we're done, we're through. Let's get home.
definitely need a coffee now. Let's get home for a coffee. might need to lift you up a little bit let me see what i can do okay let's try that hello <laughs> i'm about to plant up the container i do like a communal planter that goes outside the front of our apartment block but honestly to be honest i've just been so busy that it's sort of not been a priority but today i was out and about and these were only 4.99 in lidl and they are just so beautiful so these are going to look lovely going into the autumn. I mean, it's only July, <laughs> but these do last. You just dehead them and then more flowers uh, arise from the buds. There's the little buds look. Beautiful, aren't they? I think these are called chrysanthemums, but I am going to check that. Yes, a chrysanthemum. Yay! I noticed that the planter is quite deep. So is there's quite a lot to it. And I've only got this one bag of soil and I think it might need some more. So I had a master plan. I've just used the containers from the plants inside just to raise up the flower bed. Flowers will sit nice and high and hopefully there's enough soil to put inside. So let's have a look and see what it's gonna look like. When you don't have a garden and you love gardening, your kitchen just gets very, very messy. Ta-da! So simple. <laughs> So I've been downstairs, I've popped the plant out and I have watered. I'm really happy with them. And then I thought whilst I'm in my gardening bits and pieces, I will just have a look at some of the house plants that we've got because there's a few things that need to happen with them. This one I have already looked at today. This was bought by a friend of mine, it's a fig tree. And when she bought this for me, it was so tiny. I think she bought it for me for my birthday, not last year, the year before. It's now definitely a floor plant, but I've been to my storage block this morning and picked up these, um, oh, for goodness sake, I've forgotten the name of them. Seagrass, seagrass planters. And I've just put it in one of these. So that job's already done. It's looking lovely. I would like to give the leaves a wipe over and just a bit of love and care. Leaves of the house plants just love a wet cloth on them or one of those spritz sprays. So this job is for doing today. It's all wibbly, wobbly. If you didn't know already, I love house plants. And this one in particular, I just love so much because my best friend bought it for me. Like I said earlier, when you have no garden and you have to do everything inside, I just know that the kitchen's going to get a mess. But, oh my goodness, there's a little spider. So this teeny tiny spider has probably come from the big container that was outside. I am going to get ready to move that spider. I'm going to keep an eye on him. But the other plants I need to look at today are this one. This is a snake plant. Why do I need to look at that one? Oh, yes, I know. I want to swap the pot. I just want to put it back into a plain black one. I'm going to have to move this spider now because he's travelling quite fast. Let's get a glass. 
So I've got a glass and now I just need to run around and find a piece of paper. I panicked and couldn't find paper. Oh my goodness. That's a 50 pound note. I don't really want to be using that. Oh my God. I don't know, I can't remember how to do this. Gary normally does this, get on the piece of paper. But, all right, okay, I've got it now. Ah! It's okay, it's in the glass. Let's open the window. Out it goes. Ah, oh, did it. Make sure that's for wash. And let's see how long this job takes me and how much mess I make, oh my goodness. Living in a small apartment, every bit of space is so valuable. We have one of these collapsible washing up bowls that I don't use as a washing up bowl. I use it for gardening, all sorts of, you know, sick bucket. <laughs> I don't think it's ever been used as a sick bucket, but that's what it's for. And obviously when it's folded up, it saves me space. And then something else that I have to do is buy the lightweight multi-purpose which expands and I found this during lockdown. Oh, it's very dusty. Can you see all that? It looks like it's on fire. And then some of you are going to absolutely hate the next bit, but I'm going to use my hands. And it expands basically to make more compost. Oh my goodness, okay. Wow, get that out of there. So sorry, that it's taking me this long. Oh my goodness. Oh. It will definitely be happier in here and it's dry as well. It needs a lot of water. in the kitchen window and I think it really liked it there you're gonna to have to learn to live in a new home because you're not sitting on the kitchen window now that you're this big what do you want for lunch so what would you like well bits and pieces so I need to do and it's a bits of lunch for you thank you you're welcome clearly I'm gonna be busy after this I'm gonna get GB and it's a bits of lunch doing the planting it's never nice doing the actual cleaning up afterwards I have to literally clean everything in the kitchen I said that we was going to have kids dinner tonight which is just a fry up vegetarian fry up so let me show you what we're going to have for our fry up probably have two each Vegetarian breakfast is not a vegetarian breakfast without mushrooms. Uh, for me, it's easy to prepare in the day and then I can teach and go to the gym if I want to go to the gym in the evening. I try and get to the gym in the day, but like today I can't. Funnily enough, after all that aqua talk that I was saying about earlier on, I've tried to book myself onto aqua this evening, there may or may not be a space. I love avocado with my vegetarian, lovely, jubbly breakfast. So I will smash those up with some lime. Often I will just literally get the avocado and then the lime as well, and I just smash them all up together. Have I got lime? If I haven't got lime, I use lemon. Today it's a lemon. I always find that if I'm buying an avocado on delivery, it's never very good. I always feel like I've got to be in the supermarket. I mean, 
why would they give you a hard avocado? I don't understand. And they never do ripen at home. If anyone knows how to ripen avocados, please, please let me know. Just gonna squeeze in the lemon. Lovely. I love this so much. love eggs as I say we're, we're not vegan we are pescatarian so we do eat fish obviously it's got to be Heinz baked beans for breakfast dinner tea whenever I like baked beans but I always have to get rid of the juice I am not one of these ones who likes their baked beans juicy I like them when they're just the beans so I will microwave those together, but I always get rid of the juice first because I'm strange. And I feel like that might be all we have. Halloumi, halloumi. Of course we have halloumi. Although I'm not going to cut that up now, I'm gonna leave it in the fridge. So all of this food is now prepared for our special vegetarian, lovely jubbly dinner. My plans for the rest of the day are gonna teach this afternoon, going into this evening, and then I am gonna go down to the pool. That will either be, depending on if I can get onto the class, I'll either go before the class, if I can't get on, or I will go for six o'clock, swim before, and then do the 45 minutes class, and then eat. You probably can tell by the wet hair that I have been to Aqua this evening, and it was absolutely fantastic. I think it was probably, the best one that I've ever been to and the time went really fast so sometimes when I go to an aqua or any gym lesson I constantly look at the clock and although it was absolutely fantastic I have got a headache and it's really coming on so I'm going to go home and take some tablets and get some tea and then probably have an early night I do get headaches um, around my ovulation time and then again just before my period so I knew that possibly today I would get one. And sometimes they happen in a cluster and sometimes it's just a one-off, but I did feel a, a slight twinge of one earlier on. You can almost feel the onset, can't you? So I'm gonna leave this here. I will say goodbye and see you again soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>